Pope Francis is observing a moment of silence for victims killed in the New Zealand mosque attacks. This as the country debates gun control and families have to wait to properly bury their loved ones. Fox's Jackie Heinrich reports. Let's pray together in silence for our Muslim brothers who were killed. Pope Francis praying for victims killed in the deadly mosque attacks in New Zealand. During his Sunday prayers, the pontiff saying these victims add to the pain of wars and conflicts afflicting humanity. Police say a 28-year-old white supremacist from Australia is the suspect. The gunman opening fire at two mosques in Christchurch. At least 50 people dead and dozens injured, including some in critical condition. The shooter facing one murder charge, but police say more criminal charges would likely follow. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern is pleading to tighten gun laws. We cannot be deterred uh, from the work that we need to do on our gun laws in New Zealand. They need to change. The government receiving positive reaction from some gun owners. You've got to have some sort of freedom, but you know, you, know, you, you, you need a weapon that's appropriate for what you're using it for. The cabinet will consider banning private ownership of semi-automatic rifles, like the ones used in the Christchurch shootings. There will be no opposition to it because, uh, because there's, no, there's no movement here in New Zealand for that. Two days after New Zealand's deadliest shooting in modern history, relatives are still waiting for authorities to release the bodies. Police Commissioner Mike Bush says they're working with pathologists and coroners to complete the investigation. We have to be absolutely uh, clear on cause of death and confirm their identity before that can happen. Islamic law requires bodies to be cleansed and buried within 24 hours after death. We are so aware of the cultural and religious needs. Uh, so we were doing that as quickly and sensitively as possible. The Prime Minister says authorities hope to release all the bodies by Wednesday. Jackie Heinrich, Fox News.